everybody. This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ajla from Erudai Nutrition. And today's video topic is Indian chai or tea. Why not to drink chai and milk tea? The reason behind I suggest all my patients and by all I mean 99.9% .9 of my patients to avoid drinking chai or the milk tea is because it causes a huge amount of stress on your digestive system. So during my hospital practice, I see a variety of different patients. I see heart patients, I see diabetics, I see chronic kidney disease patients, I see thyroid patients, and uh, uh, even some children, some food poisoning cases, some people with gastrology problem with their digestive tract. So I see a variety of patients. So what is the one thing that is common for all of them is to avoid drinking chai because it does not suit your body in any disease. And I mean to say any disease because what it's going to do is going to create a negative stress on your body. And when the negative stress is converted into cortisol and is converted into inflammation, it is going to worsen your symptoms. The reason people find difficult to quit chai is because it is in trend. Everybody is on chai. You go to somebody's house, you get chai. You, somebody comes to your home, you, you offer them chai. So tea is everywhere, folks. And we are so much influenced and we are so addictive of drinking chai that we usually overrule the health benefits what our body could achieve without chai. So we think our life is incomplete without chai. In my personal experience, Two-third of the people who come to me with any issue, let it be a weight issue, let it be a digestion issue, let it be a acidity issue, a bloating issue, I just recommend that seven days you go without drinking chai. 60% of them give me a feedback and now their symptoms are all gone. So who was the culprit? Chai was the culprit if you are suffering from acidity, heartburn, headache, epigastric burning, you are having a poor digestion, you are having a deficiency in your body of vitamins and minerals, you should quit chai for seven days. Okay, if you are feeling constipated, if you are feeling bloated, all these uh, problems with your digestive system, they can be fixed by quitting the chai, the milk tea. So if you have such problem, do quit it for seven days on my recommendation. And if you do not feel any better, which is well, not going to be possible to be honest with you. So if you have any type of digestive issue that I have said or any other than that, I request you to quit chai or milk tea for seven days. You will see the benefits for yourself. The number one reason I do not suggest anyone to drink tea or milk tea or chai is because it has absolutely zero nutritional value. All you are going to get are empty calories. You might be thinking I add half amount of milk in it. So does milk not have a good nutritional value? Well, it does have, but the chai, the tea leaves actually have antioxidants named as tannins and catechins. So these antioxidants are good for our nerves, are good for our brain. They do a little good until unless it's not fermented. The reason green tea is better than black tea because it is not fermented. So once you go through the fermentation process about two-third of the performance of these antioxidants decrease. So there's no point of drinking tea for any benefits from antioxidants. Number two, these antioxidants have a very bad habit. What is that bad habit? If they touch with vitamins, they are going to destroy them. If they touch with minerals, minerals like calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, if they touch with minerals, they are going to bind with the minerals. And now that mineral is no more in an absorbable form in your body. So you are not getting any minerals, you're not getting any vitamins either. Coming to the little amount of protein that we are going to get from some amount of milk, well, the milk protein also gets destroyed and distorted by these catechins and tannins. So what does that mean? A cup of tea with about two teaspoons or tablespoons of sugar, whatever your preference is, and no amount of vitamin, minerals or protein. So you are just going to get sugar calories, which is going to cause acidity in your stomach. See, our body works 24 seven to produce the digestive acids that we need in our stomach to break down our food and break down our proteins and fats for digestion. When you are drinking a chai cup, first thing in the morning is you are going to excrete a lot amount of acid into your stomach. For what? 
acid for what? You are not getting any nutrition from chai. So why are you wasting your acid? Now once you have wasted enough of your acid, some people are too sensitive to acid, they feel it right away, epigastric burning near their sternum or they start getting a headache or a nausea or whatsoever. But our culture says, if you are having acidity issues, pop up an antacid. Don't quit chai. This is what the advice is. If you are feeling acidity, drink an eno, drink an antacid. But we are not addressing the root cause. So now I have, suppose I have drank empty stomach, I've drank a cup of chai, a milk tea. I'm going to excrete so much of acid and all of it is going to go to waste for empty calories that have zero nutrition value. And now after an hour or two when I have my actual breakfast, I have sprouts or I have basin chila or I have anything healthy, my body does not have enough acid to break down that meal. Yes, it has acid, it will break down the meal, but it does not have enough acid because it takes time to rejuvenate those acid reserves. So drinking chai before a meal on an empty stomach is a waste of your bodily acidic fluids. The another problem I have with chai is actually it kills off your hunger. So even if you are a chai lover and you don't want to hear my rant about chai, you are still going to agree with me that chai actually kills the hunger. The reason we keep on drinking chai on off timings is because it kills our hunger. You can have an experiment on yourself if you want, but it's going to be disastrous on your body. So precautions to be taken. You start drinking a cup of tea whenever you feel hungry and after a cup of tea for about two to three hours, you won't feel hungry. Whereas you have put zero nutrition in your body. You have given zero nutrition to your body. You have just gave them empty sugar calories and still your body is not feeling hungry. Why? Because actually it kills your hunger. This is my own personal experience with people who are suffering from diabetes, maybe type one or type two, it doesn't matter. People who, uh, who are diabetic and drink a cup of chai without sugar or without sugar free or without any type of sweetener, just plain chai, unsweetened chai, they tend to raise their blood sugar levels from 40 to 70 mg per dl. I have had a personal experience in my own family and I have also had this experiment done on a couple of my patients who all gave me the same feedback. When you are drinking a plain cup of tea, it is going to raise your blood sugar levels from 40 to 70 milligrams per deciliter. So if you quit tea, you are better off on your blood sugar levels also. Apart from being a zero nutrition drink, it actually is a negatively nutrition drink. Now why am I saying so? Not only your body will come under stress when you drink chai because of acidity, because of constipation, bloating, digestive enzyme, partially indigested food, all these factors will lead to vitamin and mineral deficiency. So as I've already said that catechins and tannins, they bind with minerals, they destroy vitamins and protein. So if you are having a cup of chai with your breakfast, what are you going to get from that breakfast? The cup of chai actually depleted the amount of nutrition in your food and if you're drinking it on empty stomach, it's going to still cause gastric distress which in turn will lower the level of your vitamins and minerals. Zero nutrition? No, it's a negative nutrition. The reason I want you guys to quit on chai. So guys, this was my take on chai. I urge you guys to quit chai for seven to 10 days and then see for results if you are suffering from any sort of acidity, bloating, constipation or poor digestion you need to quit the chai ASAP. You need to level up your system again. Take your system to an optimum level by quitting chai. You can have milk instead. You can have curd or lassi instead, whatever your preference is. Quit chai for a couple of days and see the difference for yourself. I'll see you guys next time.